hemp industry may have gotten a nod of approval from the Drug Enforcement Administration in late May when the agency clarified that not all compounds of cannabis fall under the Controlled Substance Act. Referencing a 2004 determination by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals that excluded non-psychoactive cannabinoids from the federal government's definition of marijuana, the announcement came after the DEA says it had received numerous inquiries on the matter. Products and materials that are from the cannabis plant and which fall outside the CSA definition of marijuana, such as sterilized seeds, oil or cake made from the seeds, and mature stalks, are not controlled under the CSA. Such products may accordingly be sold and otherwise distributed throughout the United States without restriction under the CSA or its implementing regulations, reads an internal directive from the DEA dated May 22nd. The mere presence of cannabinoids is not itself dispositive as to whether a substance is within the scope of the CSA. The dispositive question is whether the substance falls within the CSA definition of marijuana. Although THC, the psychoactive component in cannabis, is the most prevailing cannabinoid in the recreational form of the plant, strains of recreational cannabis and industrial hemp have been shown to be high in CBD, CBN, CBG, and other cannabinoids as selective breeding techniques improve. These cannabinoids don't impair users, but have the ability to help with a variety of medical uses, such as anxiety, pain, sleeping disorders, inflammation, and skin irritation.